Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is finally time for the Petty Project Pan 2022 finale. It's finally here. Honestly, I let this go on longer than it should have. To be frank, I realized like back in 2019 that I do so much better with, other than my Pan That Palette, short term projects. And I seem to have like forgotten that in my hubris, thinking I could do another like year long project. And to be frank, I lost steam for this, like right around the summer mark. And then I just kept pushing through because I wanted to keep it a full time or a full year project pan. The only full year project pan that I can successfully do is a pan that palette. And I've, I've shown that over and over, but like I said, hubris. So if you missed the last update, you know what? I'll throw the whole playlist for this year's Petty Project Pan up in the cards. And let's get into the final, the finale, the two products that were left. So product number one, I finished. This is the mini Kevin Aquan bronzing or sculpting powder. And I totally finished it up. I actually finished it this morning. So I'm wearing what's left of it mixed in with another product on my face today. I really like this product. At some point in the future, I will probably buy a full size of this because I really liked the tone. I loved the way it blended out. It was a really, really nice product. I don't know why it took me this long to finish it. Nope. That's a lie. I think I know why. I think it's because it was a Kevin Aquan. It was a luxury product that I got at a time when I really couldn't afford anything luxury. It was a mini product that I got from Sephora and I wanted to hold on to it because I didn't know if I was ever gonna be at a point where I could buy a full size. And thankfully I am very comfortable where I am now and I am able to buy a full size kind of whenever I want. Um, but looking at the size of my collection, I'm able to be a bit more picky now with what I'm bringing into uh, you know, my makeup storage. So I, I do wanna buy this full size at some point, though you know I have been burned in the past by really liking a mini or a sample size of a product and then buying the full size and the full size sucked. That has happened multiple times. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video about that because off the top of my head, I can think of the, um, there was a Burberry Luminous Base Primer where the mini was so much better than the full size. And then there was a Tarte concealer where the concealer, the mini concealer was so much better than the actual full size, full price concealer. But if you guys wanna see a video, let me know down below. So I am partially afraid of that. Like I liked this so much, what if the full size isn't as good? But you can't really know until you try the full size out, which kind of sucks. But it's done for this project, we finished. Now here we are. Um, you know, it would have been easy for me to just kind of scrape it out and fake it, but I did not finish this. I hit a good amount of pan, you can see in the middle, and I'm wearing it on my lips today but I did not finish this. And the petty in me is very upset. Like I could have finished this, but but this product, the second time that I frankened it, I didn't use enough or I used too much lipstick to Vaseline. So it came out darker. As you can see, this is darker than my natural lip color. The first time I frankened it, I got so close to my natural lip color, you couldn't tell. And I think that's what made the first one so easy to pan because you know, to be frank, this whole year, other than like testing for my black lipsticks video, I barely wear lipstick. And this was kind of basically like a lipstick. And it was something that was tinted enough that I couldn't wear it with like everyday work makeup where it would clash. Cause like this, I specifically did this eye look cause I thought it would match and it looks okay. But for the majority of like my quick everyday eye looks, this was a bit much, which is eh. But it was a bit much. And then using it as a regular lip balm, like if I had no makeup on and I just kind of threw it on like I did a chapstick, you could tell. It was so tinted that it looked like I was a three-year-old and I got into my mom's makeup. Like, it was just that perfect, like, not sweet spot, what's the opposite of a sweet spot? The perfect, horrible spot <laughs> that it wasn't useful to me in almost any situation. So I pushed through and I got pan in this, but you know, I am just gonna like package this up and throw it in my lipstick drawer and just let it sit for a bit. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I will come back to this eventually, but I'm, I'm pettied out at this point <laughs> and I really just want to put this away and kind of move on, which I think that's the theme of this. It's just, I should not have done another year long project in addition to my pen that palette. And I love pen that palette so much. I'm not stopping that. I am working on my current pen that palette. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today and I already have next year's pen that palette planned. So that's not going anywhere. But I think as long as I do that, I really should not take on any other long-term projects. So that being said, this is not I'm not gonna go ahead and close the door and say I'm never gonna do a Petty Project Pan again. I really loved the idea and I totally wanna do it, but I'm gonna give myself at least like six months to a year <laughs> break before coming back to this. And if I do come back to it, it is gonna be a short-term project. So that being said, I am looking for project ideas, short-term project ideas, you know, um, a few months, no more than like three or four months uh, for next year. 
So if you guys have any seasonal project pans or just, you know, short term projects that you would like to see me do, let me know down below because I'm trying to plan out the next year and I'm trying to do better and not over hoobrissing. That's it's not even a word. It's it sounds like I'm a who like a who from Whoville. But I'm trying to get better at planning for next year and not just over committing myself to a project that's going to bite me in the butt next year. So please leave those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.